I have an iPad 6th gen in for screen repair. I've done so many of these I could do them in my sleep. But this one in particular, once I picked off all the broken glass and got it stripped down and built back up for testing before sealing, the LCD does not light up. Hey everybody, Jason here. Today I'm working on an iPad 6 that was sent here for no image. This has been sent here by one of our good repair shop customers, so it's actually arrived without the screen on it, which is the way I like it. Now, I've already verified that this thing does not get an image, so let's see if we can fix it. So this is a standard iPad 6 Gen here without any shenanigans. I don't see that we're missing any components. Now, these are some of my most favorite repairs because down here by the display connector, we have this little sticker. And typically, when we get a short during a screen repair, this sticker will wind up with uh, little burn marks on it like it will the component under here will get extremely hot and it'll actually melt the sticker in a little spot but i'm actually i'm not seeing any of that on this one let's see what we get is there anything visible underneath that sticker don't see anything going on right off the bat. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, we definitely got some pry damage here. This is classic tool pry damage here, folks. We are missing something, and it's something with four pins. This is going to be a missing image choke. Basically, the image choke is connecting from this side here to this side here. Uh, up here, we actually have four of these things. We got one, two, three, four image chokes. And down here, we should also have an image choke. This one is missing. And that is absolutely, positively, the reason why this does not get an image. So not too much prep work on these. We want to be careful not to melt anything. And we've got this little thing down here. This typically melts, so I like to get that out of the way. I'm going to be using hot air on this, so sometimes it'll singe the, the edge of the battery right here a little bit. But ultimately, I like to protect the speaker area down here because hot air will crinkle up and melt the speaker. All right, so I got that pretty stinking well insulated. I'm not worried about burning the battery or the speaker down here. And next, we're going to need us a donor board. Let's see what we got here. Boy, that thing, <laughs> that thing's missing quite a bit of stuff. I don't really care about that as long as it's got some image chokes. Let's not... <laughs> this one has some image chokes. I wonder if they're the right right size. That's an iPad mini board. All right, let's see if the iPad mini chokes are the same size. <laughs> that, that board looks terrible. Let's check this one. All right, this board looks slightly better. And there's the size of our chokes on the mini board. Looks good to me. All right, back to our customer's iPad. Let's hit, let's get this thing prepped up to receive a brand spanking new image choke. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I myself forgot to unhook the battery, and look at this. That thing is all chewed up around the battery connector. Let's just make sure we're not making a connection under here. That ought to do it. So let's get some flux on this thing. It's really important to disconnect the battery because you don't want to start on something like this and then wind up with uh, smoke and fire yourself while you're trying to fix it for somebody else. It, it kind of makes you feel like a hypocrite when that happens. So since this was forcefully removed from the board, it's got little chunks of like image choke feet left on it, like little severed legs. We have to get rid of that and make us some nice, fluffy pads. So we'll continue to, to warm the board up and keep it warm with hot air. And get us some nice, fluffy pads to put our image choke on, yeah? Come on, baby. All right, that all looks really good. Now over to our lovely donor board. Best best donor board 
in the land of donor boards. I probably could have found a donor board that had less feces on it. This one will work, though. Right, I'm going after that image choke right in the middle here. This one right here. Wait for it. Any minute. Oh, I forgot to turn the hot air up. Let's turn that hot air up a little bit. I was at 340 degrees C, which is what I used for leaded. This will melt it much better. There it goes. There we go. Now, for those of you that don't work on this stuff, I would really like to show you exactly how small this little component is that I've got in my tweezers that I've just harvested. So here is a standard United States dime. And I'm gonna take this little image choke here and I'm gonna lay it next to this, or just above this dime so you can see just how big this component is. There is our image choke, and that is a dime. That is a 10 cent United States dime, and this is a component that I consider to be one of the larger ones. Hmm, I don't like the looks of this. This image choke will most likely work because it's the same footprint, it'll solder on there, um, but it is actually not the same and does not match the other ones on this iPad. So I have got another iPad board here. We're going to swipe one of those off of the proper component. And it's actually the same exact iPad board. I should have dug in my other pile. All right, let's get this off the board. There we go. There's that one on a dime. All right, back over to our customer's device. And we're going to sit this down in there just like this. I'd like to get just a little bit more flux on here. And begin warming this up to finish the repair. And there we go. iPads need significantly more heat, especially whenever the board is in the housing. Almost there. Come on, baby. Any minute. Any minute. Come on, baby. I'm going to turn my hot air up. Oh. There it goes. There we go. Now, while this board is still hot, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up some. Flux cleans up much easier when the boards are hot. All right, now I'm going to put this sticker back on here. Before I put that sticker on there, where did that image choke actually go? Did it leave on somebody's pry tool? Or is it still stuck on the sticker? It's not on the sticker. Hmm, imagine that. All right, moment of truth. We've got a screen hooked up and we are going to connect a charger. No touch though, just, just image. And we'll see if we get an image. Apple logo, yay! Wait, no wait, battery charging. Ah, oh, rats. That's still a win in my book. We are drawing one amp of charging current. And I will wait for it to boot. Oh, 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 here it goes. Connect to iTunes. All right, next, I'm going to see if 3U tools will just simply exit recovery mode on this iPad. 
All right, we've just exited recovery, and now we are getting an Apple logo. Very good sign. And this is starting to look like maybe the last restore didn't go through because it actually looks like it is booting. Nope, it did. There is our progress bar to finish the, the previous update or restore or whatever it was they did. Any minute. All right, we just got a charge connect tone and we are up to working image and this iPad is going to be good to go. Now, one of the things that I'm going to check and make absolute sure of is the battery charging percentage. We want to make sure that that increases beyond 1% and continues to increase because this thing has had like a lot of different tools being slid up under the battery connector to disconnect the battery and the battery data pins will really often get damaged and that causes the battery percentage to be all wonky. Now I am slightly embarrassed to say that although I tried very, very, very hard not to cause any singeing to this battery plastic here, I still caused a bit of light, uh, a light singeing here, which I could say this battery already looks like crap and it does, but I'm a total failure. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. I'm going to do a couple other things to uh, touch this up and then uh, invoice the customer and move on to the next one. But I do thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Have a good day.